Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you want to adjust the settings of the workbook for printing purposes, you can do that through the Page Setup dialog box. You can access this dialog box by selecting File from the menu bar and then choosing the Page Setup command. The Page Setup dialog box allows you to make changes to your spreadsheet's printed layout. It consists of four tabs, Page, Margins, Header Footer, and Sheet. And you can click on any one of these tabs to set the selected attributes of the spreadsheet prior to printing. On the Page tab, you can change the orientation of the page from Portrait to Landscape. This is useful for printing spreadsheets that are very wide. In the Scaling section, you set the amount of scaling of the text in the spreadsheet. You can increase it to make the printout more easily readable, or scale it down to fit more data on a page. You can use the Adjust To option and then set a percentage in the text box to the right of that, which sets at what percentage of the default size should the information print out. When you're adjusting page breaks in the Page Break Preview, what you're really doing is simply adjusting this value, which can then set more data on a printed page. You could also select the Fit To option and then enter the number of pages across and down into the two spinner boxes that follow. Below the scaling section, you can use the Paper Size drop-down to select the size of the paper to which you'll be printing the spreadsheet, and you may be able to use the Print Quality drop-down to set a print quality in dots per inch. You can then type a number under the First Page Number text box to set the first page to display that number as the starting point in the header or footer if you added page numbering. On the Margins tab, you can set the print margins for your spreadsheet and you use the spinner arrows at the right of each margin's text box to set the value of your top margin, your bottom margin, your left and your right margins. You can also input how far in from the top or bottom edge the header and footer data will print by setting that value into the header and footer text boxes. You can also check or uncheck the check boxes under the Center on Page section to choose to center horizontally or vertically the information when printed. On the header footer tab, you can set the header and footer information that we discussed in the header footer lesson. However, if you did not set your header and footer earlier, it's useful to note you can set it while using the page setup dialog box before printing. The sheet tab allows you to set additional spreadsheet options for printing. In the print area text box, you can select or type a cell range to print. You can also click the Collapse Dialog button at the right end of this text box to collapse the dialog box down. You can then click and drag over the cells that you want to print to set them as the print area. Then click the red, white, and blue button again to expand the dialog box. Be careful when assigning a print area. Once set, it will always and forever print only that selected range of cells. So be sure that you delete the entry that you make in this text box before you save your spreadsheet. You can also set a column or row to repeat at the left and top of each printed page. Simply click the Collapse Dialog button at the right end of the Rows to Repeat at Top and select the row you'd like to repeat at the top of each printed page. Click the red, white, and blue button again to blow that back up. Or you could also have columns that repeat at the left using the same process. Once again, clicking the Collapse Dialog button to close it down, clicking in the column to repeat at the left of each printed page, and then clicking the Collapse Expand Dialog Box button again to blow the dialog box back up. In the Print section of the Sheet tab, you can check or uncheck the check boxes to print the grid lines, print only in black and white, print draft quality, row or column headings, and in the XP and 2003 versions, you can also change the display of errors in cells by using the Cell Errors As drop-down to select blank if you would like. 
this would cause cell errors to display as blanks. For example, this is useful if you are displaying an average in a formula that does not have any information by which to create the average yet. Normally, you would see a div by zero error message telling us that we cannot divide by zero. You can change that display with this dropdown for the entire spreadsheet. Finally, in the page order section, you can also set the print order to print first down and then over, or over and then down. And this is really only used for very large spreadsheets that go across multiple pages, both horizontally and vertically. Once you're finished, just click OK to set your page setup options. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.